Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're just getting ready to head out to our favorite Tuesday activity. But before we go, I wanna show you guys what Ellie can do. Ellie, come. Good girl, sit, sit. Good girl. Now I'm trying to get her, oh, stay, stay. Good girl. So you guys saw in yesterday's video, she started to do this bad habit of jumping up, which she was good before yesterday. And, but that's the puppy thing, I think. So I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna ask her to sit, sit. Good girl, stay up, stay, stay. Oh, nope. <laughs> we were doing great earlier. Ellie, sit, stay, stay. Good girl. Okay, so, oh. <laughs> She does really good when you guys aren't watching. I could walk away a little and I got confused. I started teaching her to come when I tell her to come, stay and then come. So that's why she wanted to come. But she's doing really, really well. Ellie, sit. She's confused about the camera, I think. Ellie, sit. Can I get her to paw? Sit, good girl. Paw, paw. We're just learning this one, paw. So Ellie loves food, you guys, and she's so motivated. Paw. Paw. She's just checking. Paw. No, it's she paw. She's just checking to see if the treat's still there. Yeah. <laughs> because I do something where I train her without where treats. you show the treat, then you take it away. No, paw. I do something where I, like, tr ask her to sit, paw. and there's paw. no treat, because I want her to get used to the fact that there's not always a treat. Look at, look at Daisy, Ellie. But look how she's sitting. She used to like come running to beg. Now she understands sit and Paw. stay. Pa. I don't think she realizes what she's She doing. doesn't understand pa yet. She just did it. She did it once. Earlier. She did it a couple of times for Sophie earlier. It was a fluke. So uh, the other interesting thing that has been happening is that she's taking over our house by storm. Paw. All the other puppies Aww. love her. The dogs love her. Except for Molly, who is holding out strong. <laughs> Won't come in the room unless she absolutely has to if the puppy's here. She does not like her. Uh, Daisy and Aww. Ruby play with her like crazy. Aww. Daisy is the funniest dog to play with Aww. her because she's completely deaf. And I don't know if she understands like all the rules. But what she does is she grabs one of those rope toys, brings it into the room, waves it in front of the puppy. Then the puppy tries to take Aww. it. They have a tug of war, but then Ruby drags the puppy all around the house on it. And that's what she wants to do. She keeps bringing the toy back, waiting for the puppy to attach to it, and then drags it all around. It's hilarious. Daisy does that. I right, need you to stand. Yeah. All right, we got to go. Sit. Paw. Are you bringing her? Ellie, no, paw. I don't want to take her places paw. like that that are full of germs. Paw. I do find with dogs and horses and even kids that after you do like a short training session, you can come back later and then they picked up what you were trying to teach them even though they didn't get time, I even though they didn't it. figure it out before. It's like they need time to process it. But she's doing really well. Sam got the truck stuck. It's a truck, it shouldn't be. Shouldn't get stuck. But anyway, I just wanted to say that we are super enjoying her. Like she loves everybody in her family. She's ferocious, she rules the dogs. She's, like everybody says, she doesn't think she's little. But people say that about chihuahuas too, that they're like, they think they're bigger than they are, and they're not like that. None of our chihuahuas were ever like that. That's she absolutely cool. loves everyone, and she loves the dogs. The only one who doesn't love her is Molly. Molly's holding out, she's not mean to her, she growls at her, like I showed you before. And the puppy goes right up there and licks her face, her growling face. And a Macy did that. When she was a baby, she was the same. And then today, she was running around like a crazy dog, crazy. Dad, I'll call you if there's a horse. Only if it's a nice horse that maybe I could ride. So he Sam- to be on the ice. Sam and Gabby don't like to go in, but they Gabby like to come for the ride. ride. Yeah, we all like to go in the car just for just to go for a ride. So we think we came too late because there's not much here. Wow. Oh, they're freezing. Whoa, this gate's closed, not even closed. It's almost over. I feel bad that they're cold. It took the girls a long time to finish school today. So we came late, but we're becoming a lot more lately. We'll be coming a lot more now because spring, in spring it picks up. 
Wow. She's got milk. She looks uncomfortable. What is wrong? Does she need to be milked? I don't know, cows. But you can tell, she's not happy. Oh, did you see that? Yeah. I'm so used to like, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe she was just uneasy because oh, of us. Face is so cute. Mm -hmm. These little sheep were jumping around like crazy and it reminded me of Ellie. No goats at all? Everything's, Everything's gone, everything's sold. All right, you wanna see anything interesting? We need to come earlier. Pigs and sheep, the only thing that we're not interested and in. A cow. And a cow. It was fast. Fastest time in the West. Did you say that there was a horse there? Please. All right, we're gonna prank him. All right, let's tell him. I'll let me do it. Three horses. What? Three horses. Yeah. Yeah. They look really good. We saw our friend in there, and he's looking at them too. So one's little, one's small, and one looks like it's a draft cross. Probably like from the Amish or whatever, but it might be good for Sophie. Do you want to go in and look? No. Why? Don't want a horse. <laughs> Just joking. There were no horses today. They usually come in the spring. I know. That's why we started to increase the amount of times we come. Okay, so we are at the tractor supply store because you guys know Gracie always bites a hole in her bucket. We needed another bucket. We needed a new bucket for Gracie. So, oh, so look, maybe we should get Gracie one like this because she can't bite it. But I hate these ugly black things, but it would be sturdy. Or they have these little black ones too. Oh, where did you find them? Oh, they were in a different section. Oh, thank goodness. So we're getting red and purple. Okay, so we're getting new ones. Hopefully she doesn't wreck it. I I think Maybe you should get her one of the black ones because it's thicker. I think we should. Do you want to do that? Maybe. All right, so we'll get a new one because we need a new one. We've gone through all these buckets. So Beautiful. that one's too huge. Let's get one of those little black ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are $16. Yeah, no, $16.50. How much are the, the plastic ones? I don't know. So our old, one of our old barns had these, not these ones, but specifically these ones seem more sturdy they had these rubber ones and they got so gross like all the rubber got like picked off kind of and it was hard to clean them they were disgusting so, so definitely that one i think this that one? one's yeah that one's better okay, all right so what color would grace get all right well grace is gonna have the black yeah what one would she have had red okay so put the red one back yeah and we'll get purple but we changed our mind, we're getting red. We almost told you why we're getting red, and it's a secret. I wanna lick that. Don't lick it, you can't lick other people's salt things. So here they are, and they're $18 for these buckets, but we love these buckets. Also, I wanna grow, where I told you guys we're having a garden this year again. I wanna grow loofah. I think I'm gonna have to look online and see if I can get loofah seeds. Schleich is popping at this store. I need to set up my Schleich. Yeah, we should set up Schleich. I love Schleich. All right, so look. There's a Palomino that we've been missing. We said, we that, caught, yeah. just buy this and don't tell him. We caught you a cow. Yeah, we caught you a there. cow. I love that cow. We got a whole new slew of snow, you guys. It snowed all night. Y'all, good thing I got new boots. So every winter we do work with our mares. That's what we do to pass the time and like spend time with our horses while we wait for spring. Because in Canada, unless you have like a big indoor facility that you can ride at, this is what you get. Like we're just waiting, biding our time, you guys. It is actually freezing out here. We fed the horses in the arena again this morning because it was a blizzard and then all the school buses got canceled. So we fed them inside. Yeah, <laughs> I needed school. Okay. I didn't catch it right away. I know, you have, to, cat. you have to pay attention. Okay, so see, honey's misbehaving. Oh, good girl. No, because her head's not that way. She needs to be quiet and facing front, but not pressuring you. See how she's asking for a treat? That's not okay. Okay, good, click. Good girl. So Sylvie's working with honey today and teaching her with positive reinforcement. So essentially how it works, especially with honey, is it see how she's asking for a treat? 
So if he's waiting until she's doing what she's supposed to do, she's waiting until she moves her head away and is quiet, good girl. So the idea is that even when she, there we go. Even when she's asking for treats, we're gonna ignore that and wait for her to do what we want and then we're gonna reward that behavior. So just wait, just wait, just wait. Good, go, good girl. So that's what somebody's gonna be practicing for the next like month because she's a baby and we like to keep our training sessions short. She's got her ears pinned because there's a friend trying to take her treats. But look at how good she's standing right now, Sophie. Oh yeah, she always scares me. Right? No, look at how good she's standing out of your space. There we go. Just wait. She's still chewing, so I'm gonna give her Yeah. Time. The difference between traditional training and positive reinforcement training is that in traditional training, you remove a pressure as a reward. And in positive reinforcement training, you, you give a treat as a reward. All right, so Sophie, show us one last time before we move on to the next one. Gabby, can you set up the jumps? Poor Gabby's been doing all the work while we film. Why are we the jumps? Because I want to reinforce what we did with Gracie yesterday so that we can actually teach her. See? See how good she's standing? Opposed to like turned into Sophie? Yes. I know, I was really far away. Good. She's super happy. <laughs> She's like, all I have to do is stand here, which is what we want her to learn. We want her to learn that when we're not doing something, we just want her to stand there quietly without turning her head in. Yes. Sophie spent the last few months that we've had her just playing with her and like, and doing like Liberty stuff. But now that she's about to turn one, she is gonna start doing like more structured training, like what she was just doing there. We are dying to see what she looks like this spring because like we told you before, she's at Appaloosa and we can see a lot of spots all over her. And we think she's gonna have spots. Girl. She has like, like a tan colored skin and then her spots are a little bit darker brown. So I don't think it's gonna be like super amazing. Like she's not gonna look like... <laughs> see how good she's going? Okay, so part two of today is we're gonna do like five minutes of Gracie trying to get her to free jump over the jump. Free jump, okay? <laughs> See, she's choosing to go over the jump already. Um, also, Sam ordered me six more clickers. So, so we're gonna go over the jump. Good girl! Good girl. So now go stand back a little bit and try not to run with her, just send her. I love this. This is really the first time I've seen Gracie really like pick up on this, like and really get into it. Come on, come on. Good girl. But do you guys see how from yesterday she didn't really understand fully, like she had to go over the jump? Go ahead, back to Gabby. Go! I know. Oh! <laughs> Good girl! Alright! Oh, I forgot to click. Come on, Gracie! Target! Good girl! Target! Go! Target! Go! Go! Good girl! All right, I love this. So we'll probably try this a couple of more times, like a couple more days until we really think that she's got it. And then I'm gonna go back and revisit our target training. I wanna do like a lot of target training. One of our subscribers, Sandy, said she watched a horse line dancing and my kids do not know how to line dance. <laughs> but far be it for me to keep Willow from line dancing, learning to line dance. So I looked it up. I've seen that video before, I love it. So today, Sophie's gonna try and use positive reinforcement training to get Willow to start the process of line dancing. Sophie's gonna show us where she's at. Cross over. Good girl, do you say good girl? Yes, I said good girl. Cross over. Cross over, good girl. Good girl. See, that's oh look, she did it, she did it! <laughs> she may have been falling, but she did it. Good girl. Okay, we're gonna leave it on that because like you saw with Gracie, hopefully you guys can see with Gracie, she remembers from yesterday and I feel like they have time to process it if we leave them. 
So I have something completely different for Penny to do. So Gracie is doing the jumping, Willow's doing the line dancing, and Penny's doing something different, completely different. So every morning I like wake up early when everybody else is asleep and I try and figure out what, what I wanna teach them. There's so many things, like so many things. I can't wait to do them all. So this is the bucket that we replaced today. We've got a black one for Gracie. She bites a little hole in it and then this one cracked so it's gonna go up into the garbage. So we got the new black one for Gracie and we got this one for a surprise. A surprise coming soon. So stay tuned. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 